All right, today we're gonna look at a bowling ball rejuvenator I made at the house for about $50. Uh, repurposing a Nesco food dehydrator I got on eBay. I think I paid $40, that included shipping, and a $10 bin I got from Ace Hardware. Um, you can see what I've done here. I just took the uh, food dehydrator and cut a hole in the top of the bin. You have to make a hole for this because the way the Nesco dehydrator works is it sucks air up from the inside and it spouts it out all the way around the outside. So you have to clear this out all around the outside, uh, make a hole, fit it in, and it sets it. you can set it in the top, screw it in. And then I've got an old uh, motive villain in there. We'll see how all that turns out here in a minute. I've got it. It's been in there for two minutes. Uh, I've got it set on its highest setting. I'm keeping an eye on the temperature with this uh, laser temperature gauge. I think I got at Harbor Freight for 10 bucks, but I've had forever. So all in, I'm in 50 bucks. If it works, fantastic. All right, we're here back to the dehydrator <coughs> slash bowling ball rejuvenator. It's been in for 10 minutes aside. I'm gonna give it a look now and see what we got. And I can't see really any significant oil coming off that ball. Let's check and see what temperature it is. I don't know how to do it with two hands. 128 on the ball. So I don't really know if it works or not. That's an older motive ball I haven't thrown in a long time. So it may just not have the oil in it. I'm also meticulous about cleaning my balls. Bowling balls. Okay, here's that mode of villain. Um, no visible oil on top really came out. So, if you look at that. Ball heated up to 128. Um, no oil came out. Don't know what to tell you about that. Trying it now with a spoiler that I've recently thrown and put a new 2000 on. It's in there. Um, so we'll give it the same treatment and see what it does. Give it 10 minutes aside and see if I can't get some oil to come out of there. If not, it looks like a bust. Okay, straight away on the spoiler that's been thrown recently. Um, like I said, I haven't thrown that villain in three or four months. The oil might be too deep in there to get out. Um, the spoiler, right away, uh, this is a matte 2000 finish on it. And you can see it's shining up. There's oil coming out from everywhere. I can't believe how much oil is showing up on the surface of that ball. So it looks like success. Um, Awesome. Let's go food dehydrator repurposed for oops. the bowling ball rejuvenator. Looks like it's working great. All right, guys, back to the ball rejuvenator repurposed dehydrator. You look in here, this is a um, dull finish ball with fresh 2000 on it and it is just completely covered in oil coming out of the ball. Make sure you don't get shot. It's just all the shine you're seeing is oil and I haven't found out the best way to wipe that off yet but the ball is completely saturated um, and the oil is just pouring out of there. I think the ball is at 109 degrees right now. So it's a good success, maybe some oil degrease, like the CTD, so fresh, so clean. I'm gonna spray on there and hit it with a microfiber cloth and see if I can't just get some of that off of there. Here's the ball out of there with the dull finish. See the very dull finish. And uh, I'm gonna put it back in there. And you can see that one gleam off that light, but it's a pretty dull ball. And I'm gonna put it back in there and see if we can't get a comparison. Here it is going in the dehydrator with the dull before it's getting the oil leaked out of it. And then we're going to put the dehydrator top on. Here it is all in there. And in just a minute, it will start pouring oil out. We're back after four minutes in the bowling ball rejuvenator homemade dehydrator shenanigans. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is all the oil coming out of that ball. Just from four minutes. And that is impressive. <laughs> Shiny that is. I'll put it back in there for a minute. 
and then I'll wipe it off and we'll keep going.